attended two workshops, um, one for the uh, clay dragon and one to make the uh, plaque green man. Ooh, let me think about that. Well, several, uh, I would think somewhere around about six or seven. I believe that everybody is capable of uh, doing any form of art. They just need some encouragement and somewhere to practice and somewhere to have a come and have a play. Yeah. It's, I, I see art wherever I go, um, it's, it's, it's been a, a green man carver and uh, obviously clay work as well, I I just see it everywhere I go, photography, you know, the nice picture there or that would make a nice carving, there's a, there's a specific trunk, shall we say, that I drive past over in Arncliffe that just is all twisted and it would just make if they ever took it up, I'd be straight around and to claim it because it would make the perfect sort of outdoor sculpture. Yes, I definitely do. Um, I've been quite creative sort of down the years. I've done a lot of uh, knitting and sewing and cooking. Uh, and when these workshops came up and I heard about them, it gave me the opportunity to sort of be more creative in different areas that I would perhaps never have thought of before. Um, and it came out of a friend who attended one and I came along to a, a Green Man workshop which I absolutely loved and then when I saw all the array of different workshops that Linda does I was just sort of uh, enraptured and I've sort of just slowly away attended several different ones uh, some I've really really enjoyed other ones I've really enjoyed but I wouldn't do again uh, yeah so I just love the variety some of the things that I've made at the different workshops I've attended. This here is my fourth green man um, and interestingly each time I came I got better at being able to make the face more like I wanted it to be and so the last time I made this into a sun rather than a green man. Um, the workshop that I've just done is the felting um, which I found really really interesting and, and very sort of creative. Um, we did a jug, a spoon and a bowl, which obviously I will use. Um, uh, I've done a glass fusing one and this is just was just our sort of trial, learning the techniques. Um, and then I made some Christmas decorations because I think it was later on in the year but, and gave those as presents. Um, I attended an open clay one and uh, I made a, another one of my green men and then just to finish off because uh, I had some time left, I made this little bowl. This one's quite sentimental uh, value to me, is this one. This one came to the, uh, the silk painting, and this was the view from my um, former family uh, back garden, looking up the crag towards um, Coling Pinnacle, where I lived for an awful long time with my family. Um, and um, I was just talking to Linda about this and actually I'd like to come and do another one and improve this um, but that's very meaningful to me um, and um, again the green men I find sort of very very interesting to do because they're sort of very sort of slightly offbeat and different. I've brought my own carvings of green men over um, just to show the contrast of different format of art. Um, with, the, with the clay you add to create your picture whereas with the wood you uh, you take away and there's a lot more, in some respect, a lot more risk working in the wood and the carving because if you take too much away you've potentially destroyed months of work. Um, and these two, the back one um, was my very first carving and this one was one that I started but I've put down for a, a, a good year just because to me I wasn't feeling the art. Life got in the way um, 
I've only recently picked it up again. Um, almost, it sounds daft, but my depression was coming back. Um, unfortunately, I've gone through a divorce this year. Um, so, and life just got in the way. And now um, my head is somewhat clear and I can figure out, figure out where I can feel the art again, whereas I couldn't before and I just wasn't in a happy place to convey what I feel through my art.